Would you guys like to check out Creed Rise to Glory? Because we could check out that. I'm, I'm not even sure if anyone mentioned this in the chat, because this icon looks fucking sick. But I'm not, I'm not planning to stream this. It's a, it's a VR RTS. It's a bit slow. It's got some problems. It's cool. It's by Sunsoft, but it's not that cool. And it's not, and I'd have to play online with someone too. So I don't want to do that. Oh wait, it's Rocky Creed? Yeah, it's Rocky Creed. That's exactly it. Let's switch to Rocky Creed. Um, turn off. Let me eject the disc without quitting the game. Elgato's gonna love that. Did you finish off that Batman game? Um, no. I'm actually really close though. I think I have two levels left or something. I hit a difficulty spike and it started becoming really hard to finish levels. <laughs> it's still good. Let me pop in the Creed disc. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna have to reinitialize a little bit. Did the flu come back? You sound kind of nasally. Flu didn't come back, but unfortunately I got a little bit of a cold. I am coming off of it. I, I don't have any symptoms other than stuffy nose, so. Okay, let me just... Uh... But I, I sure have been getting sick back to back, huh? It's not not a good time. It's unusual too. Like I don't, you guys don't have to believe this. But I don't usually get that sick. Usually I get sick like maybe once or twice a year. But I guess I'm getting old. I'm getting old and weak. I I imagine yeah the bronchitis from earlier this year kind of opened me up to that. It was like, what, last month? It wasn't even that long ago. Give me a sec to fix this. Oh, oh, hang on. No, it's already fixed. I already fixed it. For a second, I was like, what the fuck? Why do I need to take off my headset for this? You better work, Elgato. Thank you for working, Elgato. Much obliged. So I'm going to have to stand up for this game. At least that's what I hear. But we'll try to fix the camera up. Uh, okay, microphone. You guys are just gonna get what you get with the microphone. <laughs> no guarantees, I'll try to speak loud. Yeah, all you have to do is never get sick to never get sick. You know, that, that makes sense. I mean, I'm not gonna argue with that. It's a compelling argument. Now you get to see my sick, non-existent boxing form. Oh wow, my camera is not. Oh yeah, let me put it on my wall mount. You guys may not know this, but I have a super stupid wall mount I made for my PSVR camera. It's just duct tape. It's just duct tape with like some that's like covered on the inside with a piece of card. So I can just put it there. <laughs> it's not the best. Look, this is the takeover. Go get the takeover. <laughs> Gotta show the takeover. Gotta take off your shirt. Oh yeah, it's boxing, isn't it? Fuck. Damn, you're, you're right. I do have to take off my shirt. Any way to tripod the PSVR camera? Let me check. Does it have a screw on it? In the bottom? Um, it, it doesn't actually have a screw in the bottom, but you could, you could probably make some sort of mount for most tripods. That said, I don't have space for tripods. So not in this room. Okay, this looks fine. Whatever you do, don't die in the rain. Yeah, I, I hope I won't. center real quick. Oh, my hands are wrong. Okay. Uh, accept. 
This is literally, you might die in the ring. Yeah, that's cool. That happens, that happens. Failure to follow instructions may cause bodily injury and other damage. Clear your play area of obstacles. Take care when swinging your arms to avoid hurting yourself or your surroundings. If you choose to stand while playing Creed Rise to Glory TM, please remember to stay in the center of the cleared play area and do not walk around. Okie doke. Yeah, there's like a chair right here. I fucking can't walk around. Securely fasten straps. Hold the controller securely. Do not let go. Maintain good footing and avoid tripping over any cables. Will do. Thanks, Creed. Boy, that was some blurry ass text there. Boy, this is not a blurry ass logo. MGM, get in there. So this is Creed. It's based off of Creed, based off of Rocky. A game based off of a movie I haven't seen, based off of a movie I haven't seen. No, I haven't seen Rocky. But I have been to Philadelphia. A place so dismal they had to invent a fake sports champion. Oh, the song's different for Creed. <laughs> I guess. Options. Uh, advanced locomotion. Probably, but I'll leave it off for now. We'll see what that turns into. Walk. You know what? They're probably going to show me the tutorials at the beginning. No one's servios, they usually do in their games. Can everyone hear okay? Yeah, I'm gonna assume everyone can hear okay. Okay, uh, career. Let's go... I can only pick... Oh no, I'm already on pro, I see. Let's pick pro for now, which I guess is normal, even though it doesn't sound normal. It sounds scary. It sounds like it's gonna kill me where I stand. Delphi Gym, seven months before Underground Championship. Quick turn, press the cross circle button to turn. Yep. Great, that, that works. Close. Walk, hold down the move buttons while swinging arms. Oh, it's literally um, the same movement scheme as uh, Sprint Vector. <laughs> That's fun, that works. Punch harder for more damage. So. I got hit harder than that. Yeah, we got the fives. Let's hit for five. I got hit harder than that. Hit for ten. I don't know if there's buttons you have to hold yeah, to do certain things, but. Come down to the gym. Maybe you can show me some moves. Also, like, I want to hold them up in front of my face, but I'm worried it's going to include the headset. Just, just help me out here. Five hours later. We waited for five hours. All right, Donnie, show me what you got. Oh, cameras are there. <laughs> You're not impressed? You're not scared? This guy don't fuck around. First. Get the fundamentals down, and the rest will be easy. Basics are important. Defend with gloves. Dodge punches to trigger slow mo. Oh, that's sick. Fuck, I can see why Wooly does boxing classes. Did boxing classes? Does when he still? Step into I don't know. The ring, we're going to make sure you've got what it takes. This is day you one. You get slow mo for doing boxing. We're fuck. Done. The fight will be the easiest part of all of this. Finish exercises as quickly as possible, okay. Oh, rapidly hit the target, okay. Oh, fuck, bad order. Run! <laughs> it's literally a running machine. 
You know, I guess that's a good way to train people to know how to use that. This is a fun training montage, though. I guess that's very rocky. <laughs> Not much of a punch doing a backhand like that. Yo, this is just a rocky training montage. Exercises, training determines stamina for next fight. Oh, so you gotta train good to have stamina. Okay. Uh, exhaustion. Hands are slower and weaker when tired. Oh, yeah, look. My ghost hands compared to my box hands. So don't gas yourself. How'd you consume stamina? Keep hands still to recover stamina. Now my ghost hands have returned to their body. You fought hard out of the ring to get here. Now fight hard in there and win. If you did that for long enough, that would be some cardio. It was cool how the transitions between like training courses are instant. If you had to wait a little bit, it would really suck. But it makes the training montage work. Luke O'Grady! Scraps. I didn't get to read all his info, but okay. Yo, what up? Where's Mario? Just above the belt and inside the ring. Ready? The fight starts as soon as you touch gloves. They look hungry for this one, folks. The fight has begun! Okay, so he's gonna counter after a little bit, I guess. Green delivering an absolutely devastating blow to his opponent. Just warming up. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> I don't think that's legal boxing, but okay. Green comes in with a solid punch. Yeah, I got a little gas there. Follow up. Oh, you get like pulled in. Complete the combo and critical damage for a knockdown. Okay. Oh, a hard hit from three. One, two, three. He felt that. <laughs> Definitely not like real boxing, but it feels really fun. I like how the hit sparks kept playing there. <laughs> Just get up in their zone. Like that. Creed staying on the defensive, keeping those hands up. Don't let up. <laughs> what a fight, <point. laughs> That was like a fucking Akuma teleport to hard punch. <laughs> Yo, that feels really fun though. 82 hits landed, your hits blocked. How many hits did I block from the opponent? No. That's inside. Okay. Yeah, that feels really fun. So this has full online too, so you can play like online multiplayer and yell at each other. Oh man, I'm glad you guys were really into these illegal moves. Star punch. <laughs> Next time dodge. Yeah, I didn't get to land a dodge. 
What was the Connect one? The fight. Um, so the fight was maybe on Connect, but I know it was on uh, PS3 with PlayStation Move as well. Didn't work well. Oh, it was like high score boards for each of these. Making a total of 16 by knockout. That's right. What a fighter. You think he could take out Nash? Matt's getting a little long in the tooth. You know, it's kind of tough to say. Wheeler has the skill for sure. Probably one of the best defensive boxers in the game. Oh, wow. You run fast. You book. They'll never catch me in the ring with this technique. Uh, but these days, a lot of people consider Nash. All right. Show me what you got. So I guess this is probably the career loop, is like train and fight. Oh, dodge it when it goes red. Had an out of body experience there. I suppose that out-of-body experience bit is probably what happens when you get knocked out. And to like recover you have to match yourself back up with the body or something. Okay, 10 exercises. Boy, 5 star, you gotta go fast. You fought hard out of the ring to get here? Now fight hard in there and win. Yeah. Play hard and fight hard. Is that what sports people say? I just gave it 110%. There was another boxing game on uh, PSVR that was really popular called uh, Knockout League, I think. It was like, much more cartoony, definitely more of a punch-out style thing. It seemed really good. Saw people saying they felt this was a little better, but. I look just as threatening as he does. Oh, they do the intros and everything? Cool. That's fun. Slow mo and the intro and the title card. Great. Oh. How close am I to the screen? Let me just back myself up. <laughs> Let's keep this above the belt and inside the ring. Ready? The fight starts as soon as you touch gloves. That's the starting bell, and the fight is underway. Give him a bit of the magic feat to start with. Yeah, good luck. Now he's tired. Now he's done. Reed not letting his opponent bait him out, keeping his guard up. I got this. Oh. Reed looks like he's going for the knockout. That guy had some Breath of the Wild guarding for a second there. Or Skyward Sword, rather, where he like walked like that. Blow after blow, block again. Oh, jeez. Past that iron defense. One, two, three, four. 
like, yeah! <laughs> That's so satisfying. So I guess if you don't complete that minigame properly, you go down. One punch at a time. I keep punching. Oh, I'm winded. I'm just gonna keep. Oh yeah. Okay. Swarm. Okay. Let's go. Try something else. Creed oh, isn't geez. letting anything through. He felt that. I went in way too hard. I was like, my character's super winded. Ready for the next round. Yeah, yeah, he's he's baiting. He's baiting. <laughs> All of that was bait. Any button was going to be completely unsafe. Those were all going to counter hit. <laughs> Just throw out meaties. Twist his dick. Twist it. Oh yeah. I'm glad you guys are up on the old dick twist in the chat. That's where it's at. That's how you win at boxing. <laughs> Give him the old dick twist. <laughs> I love that video so much. It's so hey there, stupid. Fans. Welcome to another round of the distance with Nick and Travis. I'm Nick and I'm Travis. Hey, so I've been playing for like approximately 20 seconds. And I'm getting a little sweaty. This week is not gonna lie. Rise of Danny Wheeler. Yeah, that makes what 20. Twenty-nine wins, seventeen by knockout. The man is a powerhouse. Really, almost unparalleled. It's one of the many fights. Well, that leads us into our next. How are you guys holding up? Right, yeah, you're holding up. Okay, let's play another match. Let's see if we can get five stars. The fact that it's like a random assortment of minigames is pretty cool, how it like changes every time. So I don't think you can ever truly be ready for what you're gonna get. the maximum amount of stamina, unless it's actually per minigame and not per star. I would think it's per star, but I don't know. You fought hard out of the ring to get here, I wonder if fight hard um, in online they just equalize everyone's stamina, or you have to do a minigame as well. Because the minigame is actually a really cool idea. Besides like the thematic purpose and like the train, the rocky aesthetic, um, it's fun that you get to like power up your character like that before a match. And that you have to power up your character before a match, too. Gran Estadio de Mexico. Mexico City, Mexico. Oh, cool. Looks great. Oh, there's too many people. This guy's really big. I've been near Brennan, and Brennan's taller than this guy, but... Boy, he's built. Yeah. Just limp cheering. 
Oh. Oh, hi there. This guy is much taller than I thought. I was more comfortable back there. Get ready, fight fans. There's the bell. Keep landing hits like that. Damn. What's he got? Fastball. Don't let up. Reed's hands are holding steady. One, two. No, oh, he's already up. What a shot! Creed really showing off his power with that blow. Creed firing up the blow. Showing some great technique. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I can pause it. <laughs> I accidentally tugged the cable. One of these plugs came out, so I lost my video feed. <laughs> oh god. Oh, we're still going? I hit the pause button, but I guess it doesn't pause. Yeah, I gotta pull this back now somehow. Wait for an open. I gotta dodge more, I think. I'm like blocking too much. Oh, you have to run your soul back to your body. Jeez. Creed is getting some hits in. That blow sent Creed. Second hit he got there. Creed looks ahead in the competition. Oh. <laughs> He's not leaving anything open for his opponent. Creed is starting to look tired out there. Oh fuck, he just went for his star punch. I got this. God, my character's so gassed. Find a weakness. I wish they like flashed memories past you or something dramatic. to open up. Yeah, okay, we got it. That last bit actually totally came together. I was dodging and it worked. <laughs> Whew, that's really satisfying. I was really not dodging earlier and, and that was a struggle and then I actually did like five in a row. That felt really good. Whew. I am sweating, boys. <laughs> Yo, that's fun as fuck. Four months before Conland fight. Hey there, fight fans. Welcome to <laughs> I'm also out of water. Oh yeah, Creed 2 comes out soon, doesn't it? Shit. The movie that is. I guess this is good timing. I guess for, for I guess I should mention this for anyone interested. Not that I'm being paid by PlayStation, because I wish I was. 
but they actually just put out a console bundle for each of these things. And that makes me think that's really good timing with Creed 2 in theaters, like for them to have a new bundle with Creed out. That's, uh, that's clever. Oh, it's Rocky, it's him. I clapped when I heard it. Wait, what? Is that a thing in, in Creed? Donnie Johnston? Is fighting against Mighty Mix. That's right. He'll be doing a friendly sparring exhibition against Leo the Lion Sparino. The Shit, there's plot. Like Donnie Johnson. Uh, that sounds familiar. Do we know this guy? Funny you should mention that. It's been oh, yeah, it's a VR bundle. Yeah, exactly. It's some. Um, what is it? It's the no VR headset, well, two move controllers, the new ones though. Uh, Creed and Super Hot VR. Which Super Hot VR is like. Arguably the best VR game ever made. <laughs> Super Hot's great and all, and it's fun, but like, you gotta play the VR version because it's better. Oh, it's him. It's his likeness. We training or what? It's not his voice, but it's his likeness. Just thinking about what it took to get here. Don't worry, Donnie. You earned this. It is so not his voice. I can't deal with how not his voice it is. You don't know what's coming. But you do, right? Yeah. You ready for this? Let's get up, kid. Get some training. Yeah. I wish they had his voice. Okay, we got new training, too. So. Yeah, the running always seems to be in the training, which is fair. Oh, yeah, me! Succeeded, and I guess you have full movement control once you succeed. It was just so instantaneous. <laughs> and of course, normally I'm just standing still, so I never noticed that. Huh. Okay. That was a bit weird, but alright. I guess it works. <laughs> I don't think I've ended on the running before. Okay. This is my last fight, because I'll keel over. Marquee Hall, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Hi! Get, oh, what is that? That's a cat, that's a cat man. Kiss my glove, Rocky, please. Twelve wins by knockout. Well, shit. I've got what two by knockout. Oh, his um microphone has the Servio logo on it. That's fun. That's the uh, game company. Excuse me. Does one of these fighters have what it takes to be the champ? Let's find out. Ain't letting him hit me. Keep landing hits like that. Yo, the music's really good for this. Like, it feels right. It, it's better than just the silent boxing ring. <laughs> I 
wanted to hit more than I was allowed. <laughs> I got him too, but he nailed me. <laughs> Hell yeah. One punch at a time. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> yeah, shit, that's uh, really fun. And actually, I like it a lot more than I thought I would. Uh, I was a little nervous buying this game, because I, as much as I thought Servios' last game, um, Sprint Vector was cool. We streamed that one, if any of you guys remember. Uh, that was the racing one, where you run by doing that same running motion. Uh, as much as I liked it when I streamed it, I barely played it afterwards. And truth be told, I was really, really bad at it, too. Uh, even when I tried to play afterwards and I practiced a little bit, it just <laughs> it wasn't coming together for me in that game at all. Um, so I was a little nervous buying this game. Because I was like, shit, what if, what if I just bounce off of this like I did Sprint Vector? Which was not a cheap game. That was a $40 game, this was a $40 game. You know, it adds up. Shit adds up. Actually, this might have been fifty dollars. I can't remember. Um, no, I think it was forty. Can Canadian, that is. Um, but no, this is this is really satisfying and really fun. Uh, I gotta say, I really like the mini games as well. Let me try to fix Creed's. Hand. No, yeah, there. That's what you get. <laughs> that's the, what happens when you pull them off the out of the vision of the camera. Rolled over twenty cables. But no, this is fun. And the um, the mix of mini games and like arcadey boxing is really satisfying. And the mini games are so much more um, entwined with the main game than I would have initially assumed. Like I would have thought they would have just been there as like you can come punch some bags and try to get a high score and whatever added content, right? Which they also seem to have. Um, but the fact that they're integrated like pre-match, where they pick out a set of four or five of them and say, hey, do these, do these fast, do these now, to raise your stats for the match, uh, that's fun. That's really satisfying. I like that a lot. Um, oh, it's not going to cooperate because it's like not seeing the headset. Or how do I leave? <laughs> yeah, because the headset's on the ground, it's not going to play nice. I'm wondering how do I go back to the main menu. Whatever, it doesn't matter. From the main menu there was free play, I think, which I assume is just box the characters again without having to go through the campaign, which is, yeah, whatever, that's fine. And it had online, which online's online. I assume you get to like pick from the characters and like play with whichever one you like or something like that. I guess, probably. I don't know, nobody knows. Let me turn off my, my fucking move controllers. 
these things die so fast. Like new ones don't die so fast, but these ones are like literally day one PS3 move controllers from the day they came out. So they've been they've been through the ringer. The the orbs at the top are no longer white, they're like gray. Which I mean, I guess that's bound to happen. God, when did these come out? Two thousand it must have been what, two thousand nine, two thousand ten? Maybe twenty eleven at latest? Been a while though. Let me take a let me take a look see in the list. Yeah, I played Goki's room again. I did everything <laughs> included except for get fifty thousand points, which I can't fucking figure out. Even just like putting the headset on my couch and leaving it be only got me like forty three thousand, which was enough for the forty thousand, but not enough to go further. Almost done Dark Legion as well. <laughs> Catch it up on that. <laughs> um, what, what, what do we got in Creed? Is there any? Can we can we see any more content from here? Uh, defeat him in career. Okay, yeah. So we probably got a few of these. What? Yeah. What did we get? Yeah. Okay. So defeat character in career or free play. Okay. Get a max star. So five stars. That doesn't seem that bad. Win a fight without getting knocked down. Yeah, we got that. That's super common. Uh, complete a takedown. Yeah, we did that. Rile up the audience after knocking down your opponent. Fun, we did that. So how many more boxers have we left? One, two, three, four. Oh, no, three. Okay, so there were three boxers left. Andy, Ricky, and Bobby. And then defeat them all on champion difficulty, which I assume is hard difficulty. I hope that's not too hard. I hope I can deal with that. <laughs> oh, I wish Majima was in this. Was someone called Mad Dog? Yeah, yeah, it's true. Defeat all fighters in Champion. Oh, fuck. Oh, yeah, it's, it's very rare. Nobody's got that. Finish a fight in PvP. Oh, well, I guess I gotta do that. Oh, look, there's defeat all fighters in career mode, and there's finish career mode separately. And, like, 1.6% of people defeated all the fighters but didn't finish career? Did they just, like, quit? before the, the credits rolled or something like that? I wonder. I wonder. Complete a training session on every minigame. Dodge ten times in a fight. Yeah, nobody's got that. Get a max star rank on every montage in career mode or free play. Oh, so there is a montage assigned to every fighter then, I suppose. Spend less than five seconds tired in a fight and win. Win a fight with one hand behind your back. Oh, shit. That's fun. That's such a fun one. I really dig that. Block all hits of a swarm using only one hand. Yeah, that's so good. That's also a really fun trophy. The name works super well there. Uh, win a fight after getting knocked down three times. That seems like that's probably gonna happen at some point if I go for it. What did Astro Bot have? Probably similar, oh, little spoilers, big spoilers. Oh, just full spoilers. Everything's a secret. Nothing is permitted. Hit Astro with the controller. Yeah. Kill Astro with the controller. Worth it. <laughs> so yeah, that's those games. I'm, I'm sweaty. I'm like straight up sweaty. I had a bath right before this and now I feel like I have to take a shower. So I guess that's a successful VR session. <laughs> uh, both of these were total winners. Um, I'm impressed lately at the quality of VR content that has been coming out. Not to say there hasn't been bad stuff coming out as well, because there's always bad stuff coming out. But over like the last, just the last couple of months, like Persistence, Torn, Firewall, Creed, and Astro Bot. Note I skipped Dark Eclipse because it's... <laughs> and uh, Zone of the Enders, of course, came out too, which I haven't popped in yet. Like, there's been a, a hot streak of stuff, so... You don't seem to delete much at all. No space troubles. Um, it's, it's not so bad. I delete stuff when I'm done with it, so I usually do pretty well. Yeah, so I have a one terabyte drive. Oh, I never mentioned this on stream. My girlfriend the other day, I don't know. I don't know why she's so sweet, but she knows that I wanted a one terabyte SSD. 
and there was a sale on them on Amazon, and on a total whim, she ordered me a one terabyte SSD. So now I have a one terabyte SSD, and everything loads fast, and Final Fantasy 15 load times are slashed like 60%, which is amazing. Down from like over a minute to like 30 seconds tops. Really love it. She's so sweet, I love her as well. It was so nice of her. <laughs> but yeah, no, generally I don't really run into space problems. Like, like this is huge. Detroit's pretty big, Prey's pretty big. Uh, but then it drops off pretty fast to like sub 30. And then I only have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13 games that are even over 10. And then, I mean, this stuff, I mean, it doesn't add up, you know, like this stuff all costs nothing to keep around. So yeah. Was it the Samsung ones? Uh, no, it was, I can't remember. It's in my PS4 and I can't check. <laughs> Uh, do I have the, the label in my trash bin? Oh, no, we took out, took out that garbage. Well, it's good, anyway. No, it wasn't, it wasn't 200 bucks, so not that one, for sure. Anyway, it, it's a nice one. I like it. It's nice because it's colorful. <laughs> not nice because I know anything about the model. It looks pretty, and I like that, so. <laughs> anyway, it was super nice. How much does it improve the FF15 experience using an SSD? Dude, it's crazy dramatic. I can I can go grab the disc actually cuz I have nothing going on. Let me go grab that disc. It adds two hours of Luna Freya screen time. God, we wish. We all wish. Yeah, I finished the transference the other day, which I don't know why it... I don't know why it's in that folder. It should be in my VR folder. At the back. Because that's where I put the game to finish. That are VR. <laughs> it's weird sorting. Don't scrutinize it, because it falls apart the moment you scrutinize it. Doesn't make sense to anyone but me. Don't scrutinize it. <laughs> uh, have I seen Eyepatch Wolf's FF15 video? I did. Um, I agree with a lot of it. I think it's an incredibly flawed game. I think it's good in spite of its flaws. I think it's probably the most flawed but still wildly successful like AAA game. I like it a lot. I, I enjoy this game quite a bit, but it has so many problems. Any plans to look at high-profile games like Crayola Scoot and, I guess, Red Dead Redemptions too? Red Dead Redemption, excuse me. Oh, why is the game not installed? Oh, I know why. Mm, I know why the game's not installed. Uh, I finished Comrades, finally. I got all the trophies for Comrades. I'm almost done. I'm almost there to 100%. I'm only missing um, three Royal Edition trophies that I haven't done yet. I finished Comrades, so I deleted the game so I could cut like 15 gigs off my hard drive by clearing comrades out. Um, but that means I can only do open combat. I can't open to the main world. Did comrades add much, much story during 10 years of darkness? Not as much as you want. FF15 pocket edition for OP win. I was like jokingly thinking about that, but... So there's, there's your load times to get into gameplay, you know. It's gonna be a little bit different to get into the main world, but you know, pretty quick. Yeah, so I, I find the SSD, like, its effect varies. Um, so on some games, it's really not that much of an improvement because they're they are like internally limited uh, but on games that don't have those sorts of limitations the improvement is pretty dramatic so i i would have saved actual hours on this fucking game 
if I would have had an SSD. <laughs> like, honestly. I have not a doubt in my mind about that. Okay, I really don't need to play FF15. <laughs> we really don't need to do that. Can I, can I go to any of the DLCs? If I can go to the DLCs, those are probably more representative of uh, proper load times. Nope. <laughs> nope. Of course, because most of them share assets with the main game. Oh well, I guess I'll leave the disc in anyway, so that that can install. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, despite its flaws, I really like that game. Oh yeah, I did this too today. Fuck. Dude, beating the last boss on proud difficulty, oh sorry, on critical difficulty, was so frustrating. Like, absolutely killed me. I spent maybe two and a half hours on it alone. I, I couldn't believe how hard it was. Not having Combo Master, not having Leaf Bracer, not having Once More and Second Chance was a fucking nightmare. But it was really, it was really gratifying. But it took ages. Yeah, and I hear without the patch it's worse, as Natsafan is pointing out in the chat as well. And I, honestly I should look at what that looks like on YouTube, because I can probably find it. But yeah, removing, removing your abilities, like, really sucks. I imagine that's not going to be the way it is in KH3, because you're actually going to have an ability screen, probably. Um, but fuck, like, if abilities were locked in KH3 in critical mode, that would suck. That would really suck. That said, like, the rest of the game was fine. Like, I think I only died... I died twice, like, randomly in combat, where I just took, like, glancing blows, and I died twice against... Uh, uh, the Phantom, the third level Phantom Aqua, but the other bosses went okay, fortunately. Um, the rest of it was fine, but like, gruelingly tough stuff without your abilities is not what I'm ready for at all. You know, I see people do fucking level one critical runs in Cage 2 with no abilities, and I'm like, wow, I am nowhere near even remotely capable of doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even dare me to do it, because I'll scream, and then I'll die on the spot. You can't make me. You can't make me do it. <laughs> How long did it take you to beat Objective 47? Which one was that? Hit me up, tell me which one that is. I'm going to pop open Streamlabs and start, start winding down. Tomorrow, by the way, I'm going to be streaming again. We're going to do a shorter stream tomorrow. Or maybe it'll be a comparable length. I don't know. It's gonna be like a little one-off stream. We're just gonna stream Punchline tomorrow. Punchline's been sitting there for like a month. I really wanna play it. I was gonna stream it today, but I realized it would be a huge pain to go back and forth between VR games and non-VR games. So I said, fuck it. Tomorrow, 9 p.m., let's just do it. Oh yeah, I should watch Donguri's videos. Don I've seen Donguri's videos for like a lot of other games, but not KH, so. But he's, he's phenomenal. <laughs> so. Um, shoutouts tonight to, it's loading, it's going, shoutouts tonight to Neon Onion, Lost Pajamas, Iridel, and Benzene10 for their subscriptions. Uh, shoutouts also to Zulti for his donation. He says, no new news on the t-shirt merch yet, right? Actually, I can give you a, I can actually give you like a sort of update. Um, so, okay, I'm going to answer Commando Joe's... Okay, I'm going to answer a few things first because it's long. I see Commando Joe in the chat saying the My Hero Academia movie was pretty good, by the way, because I missed the theater, uh, the theatrical run, because he would have probably wanted to invite me. Uh, fuck, I wish I would have seen that. Uh, let me get to the other donation, and then I'll flop back over to the t-shirt thing, because I have a very long thought for that, because I do have news. Good and bad, but news. Uh, Shoutouts also to Craig T., for his donation, he says, I recall you saying you liked Dune. 
The reason I ask is because you missed a Dune reference in Before the Storm, which I'm going through right now. It wasn't that cool. Just a Muad'Dib license plate, but still, Dune is sick and needs to be pushed. Wow, okay, I would have never caught that because I do not remember what that's a reference to or what that is. Uh, <laughs> thank you, though, Craig. Um, my Dune experience is Dune 2000 and um, Emperor Battle for Dune, which I played the fucking hell out of when I was a kid. Oh, it's the mice. Oh, yeah, I never would have ever, ever caught that ever. Good call. Like, I'm surprised you caught that, actually. <laughs> You're a much bigger fan than I am, clearly. So. <laughs> oh, is it the name for the emperor as well? When I Googled it, they said the, is a, a, fictitious, a fictitious mice species. So. Uh, and shout-outs also to Zoberg, who just chucked some bits in. Much obliged, Zoberg. So, uh, t-shirt merch. So, yes, I have news. Um, so the first bit of news is that there aren't going to be t-shirts. There's going to be something else. Uh, I tried super hard to do t-shirts and to make them uh, high quality and good price. And I actually have some of the numbers here still. Um, basically, no matter what I did, uh, the shirts were going to cost... $13 a unit to be fully sublimated, uh, even if I ordered hundreds of them, which I was going to have to order hundreds of them or it wasn't going to work out. Uh, 13 US dollars per unit, um, including shipping. Uh, and then the problem was shipping. Uh, shipping them across the United States to anyone was going to cost about $10. Uh, shipping them to Canada and otherwise was going to cost 15 or more. So right out of the gates, people were going to have to pay $28 just to break it even and I wasn't gonna make a dime on it and like we looked at a bunch of other options We looked at like getting non fully sublimated shirts like a smaller section sublimated stuff like that And we almost had it and like the idea was we were gonna sell these nice boxes that had a sublimated shirt and they had uh, an enamel pin they had a signed postcard uh, and they had some uh, RSS uh, stickers that we were getting done um, the reason being the pins and the stickers and the postcard they all kind of cost nil um or a very small amount anyway and so it was realistic to be like we're gonna charge 35 dollars for this box including shipping uh and you'll get all this cool stuff that was again like quality i didn't want to make any shitty merch and i still don't want to make any shitty merch i'm not not down with that at all um and we were looking at it and like we were looking at the costs and like I'm not like, you know, I'm not rolling in money right now. It's kind of a generous way of putting my bank account. Um, and we were looking at the costs and I was like, this would probably work and break even, but there was so much upfront work um, just to maybe make like $5 per unit on like what was like six items in a, in a box, right? Um, and there was going to be a lot, I was going to have to, I was going to work with a friend as well to like, uh, help ship everything. And it was just, it was a lot for not a lot back. And like, I'm not doing merch, you know, to roll in money. Uh, but that is kind of a big aspect of it. Um, I'm not doing it primarily to roll in money, I should say. Um, so like we were looking at it and I was like, there's no way to make the return reasonable here. This is going to be like months of work to get this shit ready and like months of support afterwards to make everyone gets everything okay. And like I was going to be making maybe hundreds of dollars off of it tops. And it was like, this is not, this is not doable. So we decided that. That when I say we, uh, a friend of mine is helping me. He's going to do all the um, order. Uh, God, there's a word for it. Order fulfillment. Um, so him and I are kind of mutually working on it together. Um, so we decided let's just maybe work on something else, something smaller. Um, so we decided to work on a run of pins. Um, and like they're enamel pins. They're nice like two inch enamel pins. He's made them before and I've, I've seen them and they, they do look quite nice. I can show you guys 
one of the designs in progress. It's not done yet. But I can show you one of them. If Discord will cooperate right now. So the idea is to sell, sell a set of four pins for like, I don't know, twelve, thirteen dollars. Which is which is I think a good a good price. Um, you want RSS branded batons with which to break the law. <laughs> I can only provide so much. Um, where is it? I just saved it. So here's this is unfinished right now. Uh, but here's one of the pin designs. I'll let you guys guess what game that's based off of. Okay, time's up. Uh, but yeah, it's cute. It's coming along. Uh, there's gonna be three other ones. One of them is gonna be just the RSS logo, so it's gonna be really basic. Uh, but there's gonna be three, uh, two other ones with that that are designed by artists who I'm friends with or fond of. So, yeah. Yeah, it's the bouncer, exactly. You got it. You nailed it, guys. <laughs> but yeah, it looks great. Uh, Norisuko's an ace, so of course it's coming out great. I love that guy. I love that guy. He's great. He's such a good artist. I've been such a fan of his art for an embarrassingly long time. <laughs> but hey, yeah. Uh, so there's going to be a couple of them. And... If people like them, and if the quality comes out nice, then I would like to do more of those in the future. Let me see if I have one of his pins around. Mm. No, I don't have one of his pins, unfortunately. I do somewhere, but I guess not in here. Anyway, if ever you guys have been to the convention Too Many Games in the United States, in Philadelphia, speaking of Rocky, uh, he made the pins for that and a couple other events, and they came out really nice, and I, I, I bought them because I was like, fuck, I want to do that one day. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah. So hopefully, hopefully people will like those, and we'll be able to do more of those in the future. Because I don't know. I don't... Again, like it's not just a thing of like I want to roll in cash, but I want to make something fun that people also, I don't know, enjoy. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's that's the answer on the shirts. I hope that is an adequate answer, Zulti. Uh <laughs> Thank you again for your donation. Uh, I super appreciate it. Sorry there aren't going to be shirts in the end, uh, but I tried. I did try. I tried really hard. Um, I, and I don't want to make like shitty shirts that just flake off in the wash. Uh, so I don't know. I don't know what the answer is there. <laughs> but for now, the answer is pins. Uh, that's it. On the topic of Cage 0 0.2, Natsafan asks, how long did it take you to beat the boss in the Forest of Thorns without damage? Uh, yeah, for the one, uh, for the one objective. Uh, maybe 15 tries a lot. There are so many easy random hits you can take. It was not it was not a good time. It was annoying. It was really bothersome. Also on critical the lasers move so much faster I realized. I hadn't noticed that the speed varied by difficulty. So yeah. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I'm off for the night. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, I'm on again tomorrow at 9 p.m. Uh, just FYI, uh, I'm going to be out of town this weekend starting Friday till, I think, Monday. Because uh, it is real Thanksgiving this weekend. Um, unlike American Thanksgiving, which is on the wrong date. Uh, so, yes. Enjoy Thanksgiving this weekend, guys. <laughs> is what I'm saying. <laughs> but we'll be back next week. Um, and we're going to play some little stuff before we get into, uh, The Missing and The World Ends With You, which I want to do full LPs of both of those games. Crazy that they come out, like, one day after each other, or I guess next to each other, or however you want to say it. 
uh, if we're going to do both of those, it's going to be a lot. But it would be a shame for me to miss a new sweary game. Uh, and I mean, frankly, it looks like a lot of people are going to miss this game. I don't know, it's a shame, because it looks quite fun. So uh, we're going to start the missing on the 11th, and the world ends with you on the 12th, as long as Amazon ships my copy. Yeah. I'm pumped for the missing, too. It looks really neat. I'm just excited to see what the mystery is. And as far as I know, this is the first time Swery has made a platformer that is also one of his cool mystery stories. Uh, like, he may have made a platformer in the past when he wasn't, like, a super director, but, um, you know, modern-day Swery making a platformer with a story is something I'm down for. But yeah. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I'm done. Oh, Nurp says, Canadian Thanksgiving. What do Canadians even do in November? November 11th, Remembrance Day. Of course, son. <laughs> you guys, I think you guys have Veterans Day, which is the equivalent. Equivalent, But, uh, yeah, November 11th. So, that's, uh, that's what we got in November. Also pre-Christmas. So, yeah. Anyway, take care, guys. See you later. Have a good evening. Sleep tight. Bye-bye. Take care.